Okay, so we have finesse two times in the studio with Gucci. I did a 1017 CMG quality control and J Prince reading. Remember that? I said something went on. So finesse and money bag have set their differences aside. And let me say this. My personal opinion is finesse he took too much accountability. I think finesse isn't humbling himself until he gets where he wants to be. Then he can start talking his shit again. But he took a lot more accountability than I think he should have charged to his um, portion of why the friendship broke down. But nevertheless, I do find it is very attractive to see someone be able to say, you know what? I was wrong. But I wouldn't take all of the blame. That's all I'm going to say, finesse. Now... Finesse in the studio with Gucci now. Moneybag signed Finesse. Now, I thought Finesse was signed to Jay Prince, and he probably is. He, But Finesse may have signed another type of deal with Moneybag Yo. So, technically, Finesse is um, Moneybag Yo's either a business partner or artist. And him being in the studio with Gucci, who has a known, long, lengthy beef with um, Yo Gotti, is questionable. Because if you know, Moneybag is signed to Yo Gotti. And then I do have him dating Erica Banks. I'm going to look into their relationship too. Him as in um, finesse. This is just, like I said, it's starting to come full circle. I posted finesse in the studio with Lil Baby. Finesse has been in the studio with um, Quavo. And now he's been in the studio with Gucci. Quavo and Lil Baby are both QC. Gucci is 1017. I'm telling y'all, it's only a matter. You know what? I'm talking about this reading is over finesse. It need to be over shit money bag. I could do both of them. Let's see, let's explore money bag's relationship with um, Yo Gotti. between money bag yo and yo Gotti. got the two of pentacles upright we have the king of swords upright we have the queen of pentacles upright got the ace of swords we have the five of wands inverted and then we have the queen of wands Give me more about the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. One second. We got the Creator inverted. This is an extra card that go, comes with the deck. Oh, wow. Let's see. All of these. Okay. Clarity. We got the Star. We have the Queen of Cups inverted. We have the Five of Cups inverted. We got the Queen of Cups, the um, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Why are all these women out here? But let me tell y'all what I think it is. And <laughs> I think that this is basically um, feminine energy representing either money, bag, and Gotti or one or the other. But if I had to take a pick, one of these people definitely do give me them bitch type of energy. Um, and it's not money bag. Oh, look, the moon right here. Why are so many women down? Why are so many women down? Ace of Swords is here inverted and it's here upright. We have the world upright. Mm. We got the Three of Cups upright. This is the Page of Wands inverted. Page of Cups upright. Two of Cups inverted. Ten of Wands inverted. Two of Wands inverted. We got a Queen of Wands. Again. A couple more and I'm done with this thing. Got the Hermit inverted. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Upright. Okay, so... 
there's definitely this energy of someone. I don't know which party it is. It's either Gotti or Moneybag. One of them slept with someone else that they dealt with. And it's, um, it's weird. It's weird. This is, with her being a queen of wands, I would have to say she's an older woman. And before y'all ask, no, it's not fucking Ari. Don't say that. It's not her. It's a different woman. We got the sun right here. The queen of swords inverted. Now, this is the this is the quad, ain't it? We got the queen of cups. We Nope. We got the king of swords. We have the queen of wands. And then we have the... Um, where's the other one at? Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. The only person we're missing is the Queen of Swords. And here she is. Give me more about that. Give me more about that moon. Wow. That's crazy. Empress inverted. Wow. Okay. Somebody, I'm going to say it. Look, this is all legend of corner spirit. Someone slept with someone else's baby mother. It's kind of giving that energy. Um, and you know what? Dolph and Gotti fell out over um, Gotti baby mama. So historically, he doesn't take well to people sleeping with his baby mamas, even though he got a whole girlfriend. But anyways. I mean, we, we got a jug head that fucking big. Of course, you, got, you can't think correctly. So, um, did one of them sleep with the other one's baby mother? And then Moneybag has several. So, well, Gotti does. Well, no, not as many as Bag do. Mm. No, but somebody, one of my viewers said that Gotti was sleeping with Q baby mama, wasn't he? Or was seen on a date with her? We got the emperor right here. It would be Gotti is the person that's doing it. The six of swords. We got the six of coins. We have the ten of pentacles. Uh, the two of cups inverted. The full upright. Give me more about that. Thanks. I think this is the ace of cups. It is. Okay. Yeah, Gotti sleeping with somebody, baby mama. Probably Q's the one that y'all said that he would be on dates with. Or, I mean, but you know what? I don't know. Like, literally. But it's somebody. Somebody in this whole thing. It's one of their baby mothers. Ladies, do y'all see why now we were we talk the way we talk about how you need to stop pillow talking to men? Because that's where that's how a lot of beef starts. Women sleeping with different people and then um telling another man what another man said or did. That I mean pillow talking literally three of swords right here. Look at that. Um yeah, Gotti or whoever. <laughs> Whoever this person is, um, they are regretting telling someone something. Okay, y'all sleeping together, fine, but why are y'all talking about other people? Give me more spirit. Yep, Empress. Why every all these beefs and all this stuff, a lot of it surrounds women. Um, is it our fault, ladies? I'm not saying that, but we do have accountability in that. Like I said, stop talking. Stop pillow talking. And uh, don't be, you sleeping with these people and you know what they're capable of. Literally, it to me, it, that is the most, um, that's very unsafe to do. Especially if your baby daddy has active issues with another party. You don't go and have sex with that party. I truly think that's why to this day, I think Control loves Nene, but I don't think he'll ever forgive her for messing around with an op. And that's how it should be. Well, they and I together, it doesn't fucking matter. It's a lot of people in this world to date. You cannot date your baby daddy's op. I don't want to hear that. It don't matter. Mm -mm. It does matter. You have to. You, to me, 
if you want your kids to like you when they get old and they're able to understand that you may be the reason their father is deceased, I wouldn't be dating people that my baby daddy ha has is ops with. You know what I'm saying? Your kids eventually are going to know because trust me, the dad side of the family going to tell them. Y'all do this to be um, manipulative and it always backfires. Women be just as messy, just like this. This is like not like the trouble situation, but it's the same type of carelessness. If you want to go give it away like that, uh, do it. But you can do that without running your mouth so damn much. Because if you look, if you truly loved your children like you say you do, you wouldn't put their father in harm's way. Because those kids love their daddy, and they might not even like your ass. That may be why you're so mad. But it's definitely a woman, an older woman, that stirs this whole pot. She is stirring the whole pot. Let me see if we can get some um, identifying information on who this heifer is. Because what you're not going to do is make my head hurt with this darn eating. I told you 35 to 45, she's an older woman. Give me a second. Um, she comes from humble beginnings. Yeah, so with that six of cups, I think I saw it. Uh, she may have grown up with one of one of the, the parties she's most familiar with. Let me see. What is this? She's a, we got mama's boy. And conservative political views. Deep skin tone. Look, co-worker is here again. She lives far. She may be curvy and has long hair. Let's do this. We may not really even be aware of her. She likes to work out. She may be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And she may she may also um, manage people who are sport who play sports. This is different. Because normally people managers stick to one genre. Like, I manage people in the music industry. But this woman wears many hats. But she is a messy-ass bitch. And she needs to shut up. Like, for real. I don't... As a millennial, when I'm starting to talk about people older than me, that's very pathetic. Like, literally, that's highly embarrassing. Um, that's very pathetic. And it, it, it just... It's, it's weird. It's very, very, very weird. So I'm going to go ahead and start on um, Erica Banks and Finesse two times. And I'm just going to put some time stamps. So I think it's interesting that Finesse just got out and he's already dating Erica. So that has to mean that she must have um, spoke with him prior to him getting out. So she's been dealing with him for, um, I don't know how long, but it had, think about it. I mean, for them to be like that already, but you know what, these Hollywood relationships, these celebrity relationships, they do move pretty quickly. So, you know, somebody got a, a wedding gown on. So, let me let me back it up. Um, what's the energy like between Erica Banks and Finesse two times? You know, it's interesting. Finesse has said verbally several times he likes um, BBWs. So, her size is what threw me off because I was like, he talks about, he, uh, he, he talks about liking big girls a lot. Let's see. What's the energy between the two of them? Star came out crossing. Hermit is at the bottom behind that. And behind that is the Queen of Pentacles inverted. What the freak? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So I knew this. Um, Finesse is going to be work. Look, think about it. We didn't see this. He, had, he lives in a studio. Yeah, Erica, you're going to have to deal with that, honey. He has always been a very hard worker. Um, for sure. Now, and then that's something that honestly is in him to just to be that way. It's like, I don't know how to say, I don't know how to explain it. Um, he's just, a, yeah, like I said, he's a very hard worker. Uh, and I'm gonna leave it there, girl. Like this man lives in the studio, but he did that prior to ever meeting you and prior to him doing that bid. 
So this is not nothing new to him. I guess it's easier when you, yeah, because Eight of Wands inverted, they don't communicate as much as she would like them to. When you used to being able to access him behind bars, of course he had time to talk and do this and that. He's in prison. But now that he's out, he's doing a lot of different things, um, especially music-wise, he's on the move. Uh, I do think that, well, I don't know if he actually likes her, but, I th well, he has to. Um, but the insecurity with him not, communicating as much as he should i'm not gonna say it has to go because i will say this if y'all are in a relationship i mean it's nothing to let the other person know hey i'm busy right now i'll hit you up later so you do deserve that type of respect but um I'll, you kind of need to reevaluate if you're being reasonable with the demands of him being available to build honestly that's a good sign when a man that busy that they can't even talk i mean they out here getting money it's the men that be on the Couch plan, PS4, whatever the hell they play. Look at this. Justice is uneven. She don't feel like it's fair. What is... Hold on. Seven of Pentacles. Now eight of Swords right here. We got three of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Okay. So whatever song y'all thinking about putting out together, Erica, shelve that shit right the freak now, okay? You too finesse. Don't embarrass us like that, Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all need to go back into the boot, the studio with this music, this song y'all trying to put out because y'all going to get dragged if you put it out. Don't do it. Don't embarrass Memphis Finesse. If I, but I honestly think that he the type of dude that would tell her it's trash. Uh, oh, so maybe... Oh, okay. So maybe, yeah, your feelings a little hurt, Erica, because maybe they did try something. He's like, no, this is not it. But you may really, really like the song. Listen to him. He know what he's talking about. Out of the two of you, he's the better rapper. Let me say this as well. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Should I say that, Spirit? Give me a second. I'm not, trying, I'm not out here trying to hurt people's feelings, but shoot, it is... It's, Three of Cups and Five of Wands. Tell you something. Finesse is going to skyrocket. I said that before he even, um, when he first touched down. Erica, please understand that if this man has the opportunity to do a Nikki feature, he's going to do it, okay? Um, it's interesting to me that maybe that would even be in consideration because I'm surprised that she would even do a feature with someone like Finesse, but Finesse is, is very talented too. But the music currently that he puts out, you know, it's that drill type of um, music. The music, him and Nikki, it, mm, well, you know, she been on her little gangster Barbie um, energy for a, a while now. Yeah, so don't get jealous if he um, does a, <clears throat> makes a song with Nikki. I think only time they would even meet is if they filmed the video. But verses can get sent back and forth via email. They don't have to be in the same studio to um, be be on the same song or record for the same song. But I do think that Nikki may run into him and that may be how they link. And she, not only is he a good artist, but he also um, gives her good ideas as well. Yeah, I agree. Kind of like, you know, Nikki loved Juice World. It's like... um. Finesse is nothing like Juice World. let me say that. But he's extremely talented to the extent that I think that Juice World was. But they have two different styles of music. And um, he, she, he's not exactly like Juice, but when it comes to that natural talent, that's what she's going to like about him. But yeah, anyways, Erica, don't get jealous. He, um, girl, let that man do that damn feature, honey. Cause I'm, I, and let me be honest, Nicki Minaj is not going to be checking for him romantically like that. She's literally married and she respects the pin game of other people. It's going to, that's the type of energy it's going to be. It's kind of uncomfortable for her too, because that's the first thing women will jump to if they find out that they man is going to be on a track with her. But I can assure you it's never, it's not like that on her end. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I love you until next time. Bye.